Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, his record stands at one and zero. His height is six foot and his weight, 145 pounds. He trains with Cobra out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Please make welcome Alex Silly. And his opponent in the red corner, he comes in with a zero and zero record. His height is five foot eight inches. His weight, 145 pounds. He trains with NXG Combat at Combat and comes to you from Prattville, Alabama. Please make welcome Zach Noble. <laughs> Your referee for this fight will be Cody East. This and all amateur bouts tonight set for three three-minute rounds. B2 Fighting Series presents Strike Hard 58 live from the Trustville Civic Center, Trustville, Alabama. The bell in round number one. Black trunks for both fighters. Blue shin guards for Alex Sellers. Red shin guards for Zach Noble. Looking to turn immediately, and there's the clever turn right back from Sellers, and the turn again from Noble. Left hook from Noble. Sellers missing with the right hand. Big shots to the body from Noble, just as he talked about doing, Chris. Body shots early on. And he's, he's throwing some big overhand rights right now and left hooks. He said he wanted to establish that right away, that he's not just a wrestler. He's showing that right now. He wants to, he wants to end this with punches. Big swings, big uppercuts from Zach Noble from the pocket. Noble stepping in. Back to the inside comes Sellers. There's the knee from Zach Noble. You know, one thing I found very interesting talking to both of these guys, they talked about how they both got a lot of confidence from the, the gyms they train at. Both very good gyms, Cobra and NXG. They, they, these are both high reputable places around here. So that gives them a lot of confidence coming in from a guy who has very little experience. Well, coming out of the left nostril of Alex Sellers. Sellers an abrasion just above his right eye outside of the brow, but it's not a cut, just a deep abrasion. Both fighters swinging big early stages. Again, second ever AMI MMA fight for Alex Sellers. Zach Noble, this is his amateur MMA debut. Holding center of the cage, there's the rear teeth, nothing there from Noble. Now what Noble's gotta be careful of, he's throwing nothing but power shots. That's great as long as they're landing, but you can tie yourself out, especially in your first fight. See Sellers again, trying to work in with the jab there. The big shots, a bolo punch with the right hand from Noble. Sellers solving the distance now into the pocket. Single collar tie, half tie plum held by Sellers looking to turn. Once again, Sellers, uh, one thing I feel like he, he needs to work on still a bit is a little bit of head movement. It's, it, it's, it looks like he, he's still there to get hit a little bit too much and that's something he's definitely gonna wanna work on. The turn, the turn right back from Noble, nicely done, puts Sellers back against the fence. You know, if, I, if I'm Sellers right here, I'm really wanting to push the pace because Noble's throwing nothing but power shots, plus this is his first fight. I'm going to look and wear him out if I can. Noble now takes a backward step, check left hook. Sellers down right back to his feet. Noble didn't pounce. 35 seconds remaining round number one. Slight swelling under the right eye of Zach Noble. More big shots from Noble. Again, Sellers stepping into the pocket. There you can see that wrestling ability right there. He just tosses him into the fence. Heavy pressure from Noble. Looking for the duck under, couldn't find it. Left hand, then right hand on the separation. Closing stages, round number one. Very entertaining thus far between these two AMI 145 pounders. More big swings against the fence. That is the end of round number one. Good round for both fighters, I believe. I think both did a lot of positive things. And look in what's going to happen in between each round right here. Good knockdown right there. Didn't hurt him much, though. Just knocked him off balance. So once again, we have Zach Noble right now. I really believe he felt like he was going to come out there, throw hard punches, and knock his opponent out. That did not happen. Let's see how he reacts now. Is he going to continue to throw nothing but power shots? Is he going to try to get his opponent to the ground, out wrestling? What's his game plan going to be now?
If I'm Alex Sellers, I'm thinking, okay, you pushed your opponent. He's tired right now. We need to really start establishing that jab. Keep that distance. Make your opponent work every second of this fight. Wear him out. Take him in the deep water and drown him. Seconds out called. Round number two upcoming. See the hands on the hips of Alex Sellers. Not necessarily an encouraging sign. <laughs> Usually, but not always, a sign of fatigue. Sellers heard me, gave me a smile, and took his hands off his hips. <laughs> Round number two. Sporting touch of hands right back to work. Rear body kick lands from Zach Noble. To the inside, looking for the single leg. There's the takedown from Noble. Just what I talked about. He's going to, I think, go to a more of a comfortable zone right now. Say, I'm just Getting tired out there doing that. I'm gonna try and take this guy down. Noble had the wizard, let it go. Now steps into the mid range, now steps to the outside. Again, Noble very accomplished in folk style wrestling, Alabama high school state runner up. Big straight right hand. Definitely swelling under the right eye of Zach Noble. That presented itself in the final 90 seconds of round number one. Again, Sellers comes to the inside, but Chris, Sellers coming into the inside without throwing punches. Sellers, and he has a hell of a good chin. Shots being landed now. Ty Plum held by Sellers, but defensively back against the cage. Fishing for the guillotine, absolutely nothing there. There's the duck under off the hook. Noble to the inside now his, has his back against the fence. Double unders from Zach Noble. You see the level change attempt from Alex Sellers. 145 remaining round That got two. him right in the right spot. Big shot, that is it, and the win in his amateur MMA debut for Zach Noble. If you've never been hitting the ribs or right there, really, <laughs> it knocks the wind out of you immediately. There's nothing you can do about it. Here's going to be a replay. You can see he's got the elevated right there. Just hit him in the subtle plexus right there. Painful, you can't breathe. Good replay right there. Showed you exactly what happened. He lifted the underhook, landed the knee, fight over. And that's great refereeing from Cody Eason. The threshold of when to stop fights is certainly different in the amateurs than it is in the pros. Sellers going down off of the knee, one shot from Noble, but. Once Sellers went down off of the knee strike to the ribs, Cody Eason already stepping in to stop this fight. Well done from both fighters, and that's a quality win for Zach Noble in his amateur MMA debut. This is our first bout tonight. This B2 Fighting Series presents Strike Hard 58. We're in suburban Birmingham, Alabama, in Trussville. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Cody Eastman has called a stop to this bout one minute and 15 seconds into the second round. Due to a stoppage due to a liver strike. And your winner is from the red corner, Zach Noble!